Welcome back, everybody. Level M Diecast bringing you a couple of Matchbox 5 packs for 2022 this year. You are looking at Matchbox Mountain 2 and Matchbox Construction number 3. These are both what they call carryover packs, which means every single model in here has been released at some point in time in the past, whether it be mainline, 5 packs, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. They're all re released decos. Could be last year, could be five years ago, 10 years ago. Who knows? Uh, so we're going to go over these. These are all the models in the five packs all the way through. And I do have all the previous releases so that we can compare. So we're going to move these two five packs out the way. There are all the existing models from these five packs from their original release. Their original release decos. So we're just going to get into this. Uh, just get down and dirty. Nothing fancy here. The crack open our first one. We're going to do the Matchbox Mountain 2. All right. We're just going to get right into these. We are going to start with the Matchbox Mountain 2. We're going to start with this guy right here. This is the helicopter. The rescue helicopter. Uh, I believe this guy originally came in a 5-pack if I remember correctly. Uh, this has been retooled from the original release of this guy. The blade is one piece and the uh, tail fin out here does not extend like it used to. Uh, this is the original release right here on the bottom. So we're just going to take a look at these. Looks like the Tampa prints are the same. Logo's the same. Colors look pretty, pretty close. In the original is on the left. We have the original on the top now. So doesn't look like there's any differences whatsoever, which is unfortunate. Looks like they're pretty faithful representation of the original release. Uh, original will be on the top. That is dated L37. This new one is dated P49. Uh, there are no base changes. It's very difficult to read the base because it's gray. So, unfortunately, nothing different with those guys. Uh, even the rotor blades are the same color. So, it's unfortunate. That's all right. That's all right. We're going to move on to the next one. Uh, this is the Arctic uh, Hailcat. Hailcat, I think is what they call it. Um, yeah. The hail cat. There you go. Get that to focus. There you go. This new one uh, dated P46. See it right there on the track. This is the original release of it. Um, I believe this was a mainline release. Looking at the deets on the side. Looks like all the tampos are the same. Looks like the same shades and everything too, unfortunately. So, no differences on those. Same interior uh, window piece color. Tracks look the same as well. Maybe maybe a little bit of a shine difference on the tracks. Uh, original is on the left. So, this, is, this pack's turning out to be quite the uh, faithful representation of a re-released Deco. And there's no Tampo print on the back. Uh, the original one is dated K31. So I'll give you an idea on how long ago that one came out. So it doesn't look like there's any base changes at all. So that's definitely unfortunate. Um, I think if you get maybe just the right amount of light, you might find a shade difference in the gray on the base. But you're really going to have to squint. Really going to have to squint. It's it's uh, They did a pretty good job. I mean, even the greens are the same. Casting, they're the exact same. So, it's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, taking a look at the next one. This is our first licensed model in the mix. This is the Jeep Cherokee. I believe this is the original release. Uh, the original, uh, a re-release of the original. So, P46 is your day code. This is the original release here in maroon. So, that one will be on the bottom. Uh, the maroon is definitely darker on the original release. Um, you can definitely see that on the camera. As far as front details go, the original is on the left. So, headlight prints look the same. Grill 
Grills a little bit bigger maybe on the original release. Definitely a little bit bigger. Definitely. Uh, original is on the left. Looking at this side, there's no tampo prints. They are both uh, the same type of silver for the wheels. Taking a look at the base, or I'm sorry, the back. Same deets. The uh, new one is a little bit brighter on the red for the taillights, but not that much. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, and then looking at the base deets, the original be on the top. He is dated H42 compared to the new one, which is uh, P46. Doesn't look like there's any base changes at all to that. So, again, pretty pretty close. Pretty close, unfortunately. Not exact, but it's pretty close. Pretty close. Uh, take a look at the next one. This is the Off-Road Explorer uh, in all of its ridiculous, crazy deco. Or, I'm sorry, uh, details. Uh, this is National Parks, though, Forest Ranger. Looks very, very good. This is the original release here. So the original release will be on the bottom. They got the same deets, same logo, both Forest Ranger, same wheels, same color interior, same color base, same color window. Uh, that side stripe in green is metallic on both. Same vehicle ID number, same color print for it as well. There is no rear temple print on this guy. You can see that green interior piece is exact. Exact. Uh, and then looking at the other side. Original is on the bottom, I believe. Yep. Original is on the bottom. New one's on the top. There are no differences on this side either. Um, the shield is, a, is definitely darker on the original one, for sure. And uh, actually, you know, if you, if you really squint at it, um, that green stripe, this is Forest Ranger in it, it's uh, it's way thicker on the old one than it is on the new one. So definitely, definitely different. It's the same green shade, but uh, that stripe is much, much bigger on the old one. So that's pretty nice. I always like to see something different. Uh, the original one, this is dated E48. It's even got the old school matchbox uh, print on there that they were doing in the mid 2010s and this is the new one still has the same uh, font on there so not too much different but at least a little bit at least a little bit all right we're going to get on to the last one which is a volkswagen 4x4 beetle uh, this is the new one this is a uh, re-released obviously this P46 is the date code, 2000 and 2012. This has been modified in its lifetime. Uh, this is the original. So the original is on the bottom. So same stripe on the side, same tampo print, same number, same uh, number shield. Taking a look at the back. They both have taillight tampo prints on them. Uh, same color engine, same color base. Looking at the other side here, same side to side, same deets. Take a look at the front. Ooh, there we go. So the original, which is this guy right here, uh, and this guy is dated. He may not even have a date. He may not even be stamped or dated. He might be old enough. Let's see. Nope, there's no base code on this guy. So that would give you an idea how old this one is. But it's just got uh, black print for the headlights versus the new one, which has white. So huge difference there. So that's pretty good. Other than that, the windows are the same. The interior is the same. Base deets. Base has been heavily modified as well. So completely different base. So quite a few differences on this one. So Volkswagen's definitely a good one. Definitely a good one. So we're going to move these guys off to the side. And we're going to get to the second one. Just rolling through these. Matchbox Construction 3. I'm not a huge fan of these carryover packs. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a huge fan. Uh, especially when they don't change anything. All right. So this is a uh, for the new pack. This is the Bulldozer. 
This has been modified from the original release when this originally came out in, I think, 2002. Um, this actually had rubber tracks on it, uh, but that obviously went away. This is the original release of this particular Deco. This is dated L37. That's straight up. That's straight up unspun. Holy cow. That casting is straight up unspun. Look at that. Wow. I've never, ever, ever, ever come across that in my entire life. Right out the box, unspun. There's a little tiny wheels that come on that thing. Little itty bitty tiny wheels. Well, if you ever want to know what the interior looks like, there you go. Or the base piece. There you go. Uh, okay. All right, let me, let's see here. Let me try to put this back together real quick. Oh, there we go. I thought I lost the other wheel. Uh, absolutely the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever come across. Uh, I can't believe that, uh, I can't believe this is unspun. There we go. So, yeah. Look at that. Unspun. I can't believe that. And I got it on the channel. <laughs> That's insane. So I got to hold this weird now. Okay. So, we'll get back to back on track here. Uh, so, P45 looks like this top one is. L37 is the original release. Uh, no base differences between those two. Got to hold this guy precariously. Uh, buckets are the same color. You get the right lighting, it may look a little bit different. Uh, original is on the bottom. Looking at the details on the side. Unit 601. All the same black print on there. Uh, but take a look at the shields. So take a look at the shields. So the original is on the bottom, new one's on the top. Uh, the shield is a different size, different size by far. So that's pretty good. Also, I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but the new one, the orange is very, very light versus the, the old one, which is pretty dark. So I know it's, I know it seems nitpicking, but I'm telling you guys, if you see this in real life, uh, you'll see those differences. But yeah, look at the, look at the shields on there. The shields are very, very, very different size, very different size. Uh, and then there's no base deets, and they're both gray. So that's what the rivet's supposed to look like if it's spun. Well, that sucks. So that means I got to buy another one of these packs so I can get one of these guys that's uh, spun. Ridiculous. Can't believe that. Can't believe that just happened on the channel. Can't believe that. Okay, now this is the problem I have with re released decos. Uh, so this guy has been re-released already, and now we're getting him for a third time. Uh, the original release is right here, J09. Then it was re-released right here, L48. The only difference between the two is the released. Uh, I'm sorry, the re-released one got a little bit of uh, black temple print on the mirror. That's it. That's the only difference between the two of them. Okay. Now this guy. P45 uh, loses the black print on the side. So this is the previous version to the this guy. Uh, still the same uh, Tampa prints on the side. City services, you got your recycle logo on there. Got a tree logo on there. Those white dots, some chevron markings. There is a headlight printed in there as well. Black print on the uh, stairs leading up, I guess, to the cab. Um, but definitely omitted the uh, black mark on the mirror so if we compare this to the original original release um it's it's exact it's exactly the same same base same dump uh, this guy is a side dumper so it dumps to the side looking at the back so it's a very significant color difference in green from the very original release to the very newest release. You can see that right there. Uh, previous one as well. 
You can see that. The shade difference. Extremely different. Extremely different. It's not as prevalent on the cab part. But it's definitely different. But again, this model has been released, re-released, and then re-released again. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right. This guy is actually a relatively recent release. Uh, this guy is L38. Um, this was the um, original deco for this. This is the very first deco we got for the Ram. So that guy is on the bottom. Um, so you can see right away the print is ridiculous. So before we run away with that, let's check the other side. So that is definitely not a print error. Um, that is definitely the way that they changed it. So they changed the t uh, font to be bold. So I like that. I'm pretty happy with that. That's a, it's a different enough. Um, the rest of the Tampo details are on there are the same. Um, there is some changes to uh, the Ram logo on the side too. Um, different font on that too. I'm trying to get that the door. So Ram 2500 um, and then whatever it says underneath that. Super, super tiny. Can't even get in there. Uh, looks pretty good, though. Looks pretty good. Uh, the details in the back are the same. Uh, both are the same silver. Uh, this guy does not have an interior. Taking a look at the base. Flip this around. So the original release is on the top. New release is on the bottom. No base changes. But that print is significantly different. And that is not a tampo error. That is straight up bold print. So very, very different on that. So looks pretty good. It's pretty good. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, moving on to the next guy. This is the Fawn tanker truck. Uh, this originally, this casting was originally used as a dump truck and a crane truck. Way back in the day, it's been modified bazillions of times. It is no longer a licensed casting or anything. Um, and it's been, you know, like I said, modified a bunch of times. Uh, it's really sad because look at the inside of that water tank. It's just all hollow in there. Just looks super cheap, super cheap. Um, but this is the previous release of this deco is K35. Um, this is the newest one here. Uh, this will be on the top. So first thing we look at, obviously, is the tampo detail on the tank. So look at the... Um, seal so the seal is different take a look at the other side just to make sure so they definitely changed the seal very much so you can see that the seal is very very different on the new one versus the old one old ones on the bottom new ones on the top so and the, the print is a little bit different um and this one um the border around the waterworks is not as bright uh, red as the uh, new one is So it looks pretty good. There are no deets on the back. You can see that the gray color is also very different the plastic gray color Very very different between the two Looking at the base deets The original is on the bottom new one is on the top Nothing doing on the bottom And then the shades of red uh, The shades of red are a little bit different just a little bit. Um, if you're uh, David Tilly or somebody like that, you probably go nuts over it. But um, it's it's just a little different. It's just a little different. Uh, but the seals are different. So that's where it's at for sure. For sure. All right, we're going to go on to the last one. Um, this is the Atlas Excavator. This is dates all the way back to the Lesney era. Um, this thing was modified a couple years ago. Um, and they made the bucket permanently open. Um, and that's as far as it goes down. It just, this is all it does. It's literally the worst thing they could have ever done. I would have rather them just not even use this casting ever again. Um, they should have just left the bucket scooped. I mean, there's really nothing you can do without one more piece of articulation. So it's definitely, definitely a bum. Uh, looking at the base, Dietz L04. This guy came in a five pack um, back in the day. Of course he's in a five pack again here this is our new one p45 is the date code so new one will be on the top old one on the bottom 
It's got the same uh, deets on the side, same tampo print. Looks like uh, beach, beach services, dune mover, unit number two. Uh, they are both white with the yellow print. The booms are a little bit different color, a little bit. The new one's definitely darker. Yeah, it's definitely darker. It's kind of hard to see that on the camera, but it's it's significantly darker. So I guess that's I guess that's a thing. Uh, there is no print on the back. No more casting changes to this guy. The print on the other side is the same as well. Dune mover number two. The uh, Tampa prints are amazingly the exact same color. So pretty, pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Uh, looking at the base deets. There are no base changes between the two of them because this was already modified. Uh, 2017, you'll see, is when it was modified. So, just it's just terrible. This this is just terrible. That's just terrible. It's just terrible. So, there you go. Really wanted it to be quick and easy, but uh kind of takes a second to, to go over those and kind of showcase them up. Um, I can't believe that that guy's unriveted. I, I've never... I have... 10,000 matchbox cars. I've never cracked something open that's unriveted. That's awesome. It's just awesome. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Uh, hopefully that will clarify whether you guys want to buy this case or not, or these packs or not. Uh, frankly, there's really not that many differences. I'm pretty disappointed. But uh, anyways, I'm glad I could bring that to you guys. I'm glad I had the originals to showcase and compare. And uh, we're going to roll out. Appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you next time. Level M. Peace.